Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Hi. First of all, thank you very much for your patience and your genuine faces that are looking into our eyes and listening to everything that we have to say. Thank you. Um, originally, I was saying good afternoon, good evening, and now I'm saying good morning. So I sound like that movie. I uh, forgot the name of it, but what is it? Truman Show. Truman Show. That's right. Ah. Um, but my name is Brenda Lee Smith, and I am the mother of four children and the grandmother of three. I am a proponent of education that teaches students how to live safe, whether they communicate with people in person or on the internet, uh, in kindergarten through college. And unfortunately, a lot of the education that we do bring to our students has to do with teaching them how to not be victims of violence. So it seems to be very appropriate tonight to be here to talk to you about the act of violence that takes place during this procedure that so many are opposed to and so many feel that is unnecessary for our society in Rhode Island and across the United States. I thank you again for the opportunity to discuss the critical disposition of House Bills 5127 and 5125. I understand that the reproductive rights of a woman are in question as it relates to the bills previously mentioned, and I am extremely concerned that my individual reproductive rights will be infringed upon with the passing of such bills. And if I could, I will be brief and only make one point. I'd like to illustrate my concern with the following example. If my husband and I decide to start a family and I become pregnant, and perhaps around the eighth month of my pregnancy, I am assaulted by a stranger, and as a result of that assault, my unborn child is killed. I survive, but my child, as a result, dies of this violent act. With the passing of this legislation, my reproductive rights would not be protected due to the removal of criminal liability. I would not have any rights to seek prosecution, nor would the state of Rhode Island. And quite frankly, being assaulted and losing your baby is certainly not a woman's choice. This next story is a true story. That Over hit? your time limit, that, that buzzer is, means you've hit the two minutes, so. I'll finish with this. Okay, thank you. Okay. This is an accurate story, which complements the previous story. Two days ago, a pregnant woman who was a, a Lyft driver in Phoenix, Arizona, was brutally stabbed multiple times, killing her and her unborn child. The suspect is being held on two counts of first-degree murder because two individuals were killed. In this instance, the woman's reproductive rights were protected. That certainly is an absolute atrocity. But her rights are being protected because there is a legal obligation in that state to prosecute so, I implore you, I encourage you to pause on this legislation. It is not protecting the reproductive rights. It's protecting the termination rights. Thank you very much. Thank you. 